today we're going to look at making some rolled paper beads featuring um, crackle gold leaf. You want to start with a dark background color and I'm using Primo Alizarin Crimson and I'm going to put a layer of uh, gold leaf on top. I want to show you how I do this because gold leaf can be a little tricky to work with but this is a, a good way I figured out how to do it. Just take your dark colored clay and line one edge of it up with the edge of the gold leaf, like so. Gently tap it down and then close the paper covering over the top and you can see the dark colored clay through there. I'm kind of um, holding down on the papers and then just pick up your clay and tear it away and it make, tears the gold leaf away in a real straight line across there. Turn it over and just burnish the gold leaf down with your finger. Now to get that crackling effect, which is real nice on this sample, um, you want to run this through your pasta machine, and this is on the thickest setting already. So I'll go down to a number two. First I'm going to run it through with the long side of the clay along the edge of the rollers. And you've got crackling in this direction. Then I'm going to just turn it down to a number three and roll it back through the other direction, making the clay piece longer. And this will also give you some crackling going the other direction. So you have kind of a nice random grid of crackling going on there. Next we want to just cut our clay into some long skinny triangles. I'm using my long super slicer because it'll go all the way across here in one piece. So I'm very thin at one end and about an inch or inch and an eighth on the other. Just pick up that triangle now if you want, you can roll this along your um, etch and purl tool or a long bead skewer. Makes it easy to roll this up, or you can roll it up by hand. And voila, you have a beautiful uh, faux rolled paper bead ready for baking. Once your paper beads are, beads are baked, it's easy to um, Put them in a chain link design that makes a nice long um, necklace that can be worn doubled or dramatically long. Um, in this design, I think I have uh, nine different uh, paper, faux paper rolled beads, and I just use chain to finish it off. So I want to show you how I did that. Um, bake your beads up, and then you're going to need one uh, eye pin for each uh, clay bead, and just open that up with a pair of needle nose pliers and then take a coordinating jump ring and slide it right in there. And then on one end, you're going to want to put about three inches of chain. So I'm gonna open up the, uh, the uh, jump ring. For jump rings, you wanna twist those open. Um, you open a jump ring by twisting it. You don't ever open a jump ring this way. You don't wanna stretch them. You just wanna twist them past each other and then put the end of your chain right into the jump ring and then close that up. Now I used to spend a lot of time measuring out my chain links and trying to open those little links and uh, open those up and attach them. I don't do that anymore. I just measure how much chain I need and just cut it and it works a lot faster. You lose a few links but it goes a lot faster. So I'm going to use just a pair of wire cutters to cut the chain and you'll waste a link every time you do but it's just so much easier. Then we want to string this um, head pin or eye pin into the bottom of the bead and I really snug it in there so that my uh, jump ring kind of goes up inside. And then on the other end take a pair of these uh, rounded pliers and just roll up another eye on the other end. And I'm going to roll that really down tight so it's almost inside the bead. Now grab another jump ring with your needle nose pliers. Open it up again just by twisting it apart and thread that through the eye that you just made. Now from here you can go ahead and add your next strand of chain. You'd need three inches of chain between each bead. 
and close that up with the pliers. And you've got one section done. So if you make a series of beads, say nine or 10, and string them all with three inches in between, you'll come up with a dramatic and lovely 42 inch faux paper chain necklace.